we identified six areas that they're either involved in or engaged in as they built their online business. Those six areas are rarely talked about in all six of them. And so those six areas to me became the breakthrough for online businesses. If you're going to have an online business, you're going to break through in these six areas or you're going to fail. Okay, it'll be have a lot harder time. It'll go a lot slower for you. You won't be able to progress as fast. And so learning from a guru, how to learn like a guru is what we've been through. And as we learn from them and listen to what they said and what they didn't say versus what they did versus what they're telling us came together with this idea that we can learn like a guru. He came up with this idea right here, um, how to learn like a guru. And to learn like a guru is what we're doing here. We, again, observe did the analysis and pull together several things. The six areas that we have here that every businessman has been involved with are mark, mastering internet marketing, the MM I call it, and of course most of us come online thinking that's where we want to start. We need to start with mastering internet marketing. Well, that's a great place to start, but what you really end up facing are a couple other problems. Because many of us coming online are transitioning from a job or from self-employment or from a, some other kind of income earning situation, we have to transition in a couple of areas that aren't talked about a lot, but they're hinted to a lot. They're brought up many, many times in the conversations and in the dialogue and people give and they're giving more and more speaking time to them. But one of the primary ones is this idea here of personal performance patterns. Every day, a daily method of operation. How do you pull that off? Well, that's one of the key elements that is necessary to have a daily method of operation and a weekly method of operation. Like, like I've told you before, that for me session that we have each week where we get in touch with our goals and our roles, that vision board, you've heard of some people talk about that, the reason why you're doing your business online, all become mindset kinds of issues. Then the ability to focus time and energy, focus attention on a single task to get it done is a huge element that is oftentimes overlooked as people talk about their success. They were able to be successful because they plowed through the problem at hand. They didn't hit a problem, run back and go check their email, or go do something else or do something there. They might have done that for a while, but they learned over time to plow through the problem at hand when it was being faced. So one of the foundation skills we have is this idea of personal performance patterns. You've got to have those in place to be successful as an entrepreneur, as an independent business owner, as a business owner that you hope to be online. Well, those are some of the skills that aren't taught in lead generation systems. Typically, the gurus that are out there aren't teaching that skill, although there are many now that have done that. You have Evan Pagan's course. You have several other people that have talked about it in terms of the way that they're being productive, and they know that's a key element to having success online. So there's a mindset transition piece that has to happen there first. The next part of what happens in terms of this larger goal, we think it's internet marketing that we want. We think it's being involved in some learning system, putting together a marketing guide, following up with that whole system there. You know, that's only part of it. But the other side of it is this idea of managing your time. You know, when you get into marketing, you have something called campaigns. And each campaign, as we've talked about on the show here before, is really nothing more than a project. The project has lots of moving parts and pieces, has some people you're going to bring in for resources, you have a task list to take care of, and you have some end objectives. You have a starting place and an ending place, and you have an objective that you want to meet. And that is a campaign. It's also a project. You also have the idea, and this is the other part that I haven't heard anybody talk about, but I think you need to consider as you look at the idea of becoming a successful business owner. There are and there is a learning curve that goes with this. We talk about self-directed learning, how to learn like a guru so you'll never need to learn from one again, and that's what we're kind of talking about here. But the self-directed learner has another part of them that is that idea of directing, guiding your own learning. Well, that direction of learning and that guiding of your own learning really is founded, if you let it, in project management. So you say, hey, I want to learn pay-per-click advertising. I want to learn article marketing. I want to be involved in social media advertising and marketing. Well, how do you learn that stuff? Again, gurus tend to, after they cut through all the other noise, focus on a single strategy. 
for long enough of a time, they become exceptionally good at that strategy. They take on what I call a personal learning project. That personal learning project, they map out the course. Now, maybe they bought a course from somebody. Maybe they bought two or three courses and they marry them together. Maybe they bought a couple ebooks. The strategy is to get the right resources that you need before you to learn. Notice it doesn't mean going to a course. It doesn't mean going to college or taking a class. It means having the right resources that are compatible with the way you learn so that you can apply yourself into that learning and then have the self-discipline through your personal performance patterns to be able to stay with that learning long enough to actually have success at it. Are you doing that? When's the last time you wrote down, my personal learning project is, I'm going to start here, I'm going to end here, I'm going to go about these tasks to learn it. Last week, Norbert, or two weeks ago, Norbert, when he was on the show, mentioned something that was huge, but I don't know if he caught it. He talked about having a $2,000 budget for learning pay-per-click. That's right. He took the $2,000 and he put it into his pay-per-click account and began learning by doing. He was doing, but he had a project. Started, set budget amount. At the end of the $2,000, his education would be over. He would either know how to do it because he'd done it, or he'd have his money back and know how to do it and continue on, or he would have lost the $2,000 and had that investment in his education. Do you see what gurus do? They take on learning projects. They might call them personal learning projects. They may just say, hey, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to learn this stuff. And then they go about doing it. But personal learning projects is what happens next. It's part of this self-directed learning, but in the project management side. So we have two types of project management we've just mentioned. One type being the marketing campaign. The next type of project management is the idea of personal learning projects. The third type of project management that you deal with as a project, as a, excuse me, as a business owner, project manager is really what it is, as your business owner, is the whole concept that you are in business and that business is going to flow from the activities that you're engaged in. One of those activities for online marketing and online advertising often is the creation of products. Are you going to create a product? Eventually you will. You'll have your own ebook, you'll have your own audio, video, DVD, CD, event. You'll have a message that you're carrying out and you want to carry that out to the largest number of people. You'll put it into some medium and you'll share it. Information marketing. Guess what? Another project. When you're out producing profitable products and you're in that creation mode, guess what? It's a project. So project management becomes a fundamental skill for your learning, for your marketing, for your production, for running your business, problems come up, you'll have to solve them, put it in a project, learn how to delegate to others, how to hold them accountable, how to manage the resources, manage the timeline, manage the budget. All those things are project management. So the most important skill you can learn next is project management. Do you hear any of the gurus teaching you project management as they go about telling you about marketing, as they go about telling you about personal performance patterns, daily methods of operations, these things? Typically, no. There are a few that drop hints about the projects they've been involved in. And they sometimes mention project management kinds of words. And I caught on to a couple of those and went, ha, huh, there's something that if you're going to learn like a guru does, how to learn like a guru? Take on a project and manage that project and take it through to completion. Gurus do that. Independent business owners do that. Entrepreneurs do that. They just have a way of learning themselves through a project. Next step. Did you catch it? Hope you did. Project management isn't the foundation skill. It's one of the skills, and you'll need to learn and master it in order to be a successful business owner. But the third skill that you'll need to have is how to learn. Not only how to learn like a guru, but how to learn on your own. What's the best way you learn? Because you see many, many projects get stuck at a certain point. They've gone along and they stop because why? Because of something that you don't know. You didn't know that, oh, or I don't know that, for example, in the good old days of video, a couple, three years ago, when you had to have a good camera, you'd pay four or $5,000 for that camera. But if you didn't recognize the need for that camera and you got into the project and you start to get out your little portable one that you had from home or your old VHS one or whatever, and you start to shoot this video, the quality is not there for delivering on the product you want to create. Your product creation project 
which is foundation for building your business, just fell apart because of a piece of hardware, because of some kind of a system, because of a piece of technology. Those are the things that get in the way sometimes. So before you come into that part of a project, there's some self-learning that can happen. There's asking the kinds of questions about the end results you want, which is good project management, and then backing up through those, not only the task and the resources you need to get the task done, but what are the technologies? What are the equipments? What's the software? What are the risks and issues you're going to run into? Most of those end up being a learning problem. You face a learning problem. So how do you learn best? Is it early in the morning? Do you focus best in a concentrated amount of time? Do you do better by reading aloud the information? Do you do better by listening? My daughter recently found out, my son too, that they like listening to books because they seem to gel with them better. That's an excellent way of understanding how you learn. Is anybody talking to you about how you learn in this kind of scenario? Internet marketing. Do they provide multiple ways of learning in their systems or scenarios? Most of the time is video right now. Well, video is great, but some people love to see the note page. Some people love to hear it. Some people have got to see the pictures and the images, not just words on a screen, but actual images. You see visual learners, auditory learners, kinesthetic learners, got to go out and do it. All of these kinds of learners, maybe you're one of those three. Maybe you learn better by music. Who knows how you learn? You need to find that out. Self-directed learners find the best ways that they learn. They understand how their minds work. They also understand how they're able to get things done and how they plow through a problem. They have multiple strategies for approaching problems. If you're going to learn how to learn like a guru, so you'll never need to learn from one again, you'll need to learn your own personal learning strategies, the ways that work for you. I have 15 personal learning strategies that I could share with you this minute. I'm not going to, but those personal learning strategies become a foundation for you to work from. So there you go, learning strategies. So we've identified three key elements for success in an online business, none of which have talked yet about marketing, none of which have talked about product creation. <laughs> Do you start to see that maybe the gurus aren't telling you all that they know, live, or do? That, my friends, is what you need to do. You need to consider how to learn like a guru so that you can never, so that you can be prepared to never have to learn from them again. You'll call on them when you need them because that's what they do. Whole another issue we'll talk about another day. But self-directed is how their learning is. They're an entrepreneur and they learn their way through the problems they face. Personal performance patterns, project management, self-directed learning are three keys that I discovered in lead generation system investigations and in listening to the gurus as they taught me about how they learned how they know what they know. The third area, the, excuse me, the fourth area that comes up in surfaces that many times they are talking about, but in a limited fashion and not in the full extent to which we can do in today's society is the idea of collaboration, working together, networking, leveraging each other helping each other to grow through different challenges, seeing where strengths are and weaknesses and overcoming those or filling those in with each other's abilities, talents, resources. This idea of collaboration used to be something that was always called like a joint venture partner. Oh, I've got my goods here. Will you sell them to your list? I'll sell them to my list. You sell them to your list. We'll both benefit financially. Those days are changing as we look at the social environment we live in. The social environment allows for people collaboratively as groups of people to come up with ideas and thinking and problems and put into action solutions far quicker sometimes than what leaders can. We have countries that have changed over their leadership because of social media, collaboration. This idea of collaboration is one that's growing and expanding. And as you and I become more familiar with the technologies available to us, we'll soon be working in a collaborative environment. So I'm going to suggest to you that the fourth skill that is taught in small ways, but not taught in how do you negotiate? How, to what level do you collaborate? What are the different roles? Who's in charge? What kind of leadership roles can we put together when we collaborate? What happens when you have two people, three people, five people? How do you work that out? Those negotiation skills are usually done behind closed doors. They're usually done by gurus and, and people that are leaders and explore these things and discover them by their doing. Again, how do gurus learn? They learn from each other. They have their own mastermind groups. You'll hear them talk about masterminds. 
heard a group just last night talking about masterminds and the mastermind group they've been involved with for ages, all helping them grow, improve, stretch their businesses online. Do you have a mastermind group? Do you have a group of people that's working with you? Do you collaborate with others to help you get your products created or to hold you accountable for your personal performance patterns? Or do you talk with them about the things you need in your projects so that you know what challenges are coming? Again, a huge bearing upon your business. If you aren't collaborating, maybe it's something you need to start to think about a little bit as you're doing everything else. It'll have its place, it'll grow up in time. But collaboration is one of the things that gurus do that we might have missed, but it's one of the ways that they learn how to learn. <laughs> it's how they learn themselves. Finally, we come down to the last two areas. Product creation is the idea of having your own product. Why would you want to sell somebody else's product 100% of the time and give them half the profits? Is that a good business model? Well, some people love affiliate marketing and they know that that's definitely and cleanly a model to pursue. But other people find that that model doesn't work for them completely and they want to be themselves. They want to be the expert out in front. Their message is so important and their slant on the message is really huge. Well, why don't we as leaders, why don't we as entrepreneurs come up with those products ourselves, create those products and share them, start to look around. We have collaboration going on and people producing products together. We have project management taking place that allows the product to be completed. Individuals creating their own products and groups creating their project products, using project management to complete the product. Again, huge as a part of a marketing funnel to have a free product that you can give away and show your expertise and give away your good value. Maybe to have a low priced item that people can purchase and benefit from because of the value you add and you bring. You've clarified who you are, the value you bring to the table and how people can gain from it. You've done that already. That goes into your product. Don't you want to share that message? Isn't it important for you to get that message out? Those are the kinds of questions that are important for you today. So, how are you doing? Do you have a product? Have you created one? Are you going to? Is your product going to be a physical product? Is it going to be a virtual product? Is it an e-product? Is it a course? Is it a series of courses? Is it a process? You know, we're working with some groups right now that we're working on processes to help include all of these different items into a scenario that allows individuals to grow from where they are to where they want to be as independent business owners. Oftentimes they come in as dependent learners. They come away being independent teachers, producers, and, and profitable partners. So that's the direction we move towards. So again, we've talked now about five areas that gurus seem to learn in, but don't necessarily apply or in their teachings to us. The final area, which is huge by itself, I'm not going to diminish this one, but internet marketing becomes the sixth area. How do you pull off internet marketing? I've got a couple systems listed here. Yeah, there's systems that you can do. And as you use a system and leverage that system forward, you can gain the skills you need to have. In fact, I jokingly, with a lot of seriousness, say, internet marketing is so simple, it's hard. And think about it. It's really simple. In fact, just today, had the hit me again like a ton of bricks. I could have a functioning, working, marketing, working, marketing funnel up in place tonight. I could be selling a product before I go to bed tonight. And I could do it 100% free. I could have the product to sell. I could put the sales letter together. I could put, build the video. I could do all the things I need to to put together a complete marketing funnel tonight for nothing. That's how easy it's gotten. Internet marketing is so easy that you don't even need to know HTML. You don't need to know how to do all the coding stuff. You have There's systems out there. There's free tools. There's I mean, it's, it's amazing what you have available to you today. Talking about Brian Finale last weekend as I talked with him and worked with him a little bit talking about how he learned internet marketing. There was a huge technology barrier that he had to learn himself through. I did the same thing as a webmaster. I had to learn myself through all the HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I mean, on and on it goes alphabet soup about all the different technologies that you put into place to pull off just the capture page. Today, click, 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 done, installed, finished. So. Internet marketing is so simple and so easy, it's hard. <laughs> because there's a lot of moving parts. 
but again, something that's learning, learnable and doable. And then, of course, with internet marketing comes the idea of marketing strategies for bringing in traffic. So not only the structure, but the strategies go together, and those two pair up. So when you're building your internet marketing business to either support a network marketing business or to support some other cause that you've got going on online, you want to work towards that independence, and you want to gain that independence through personal performance patterns, optimal project management, self-directed learning, profitable product creation, coordinated collaborative cooperation, and mastering internet marketing. Those six areas provide you a foundation now so that you can learn to learn like a guru, so you'll never need to learn from one again. We're going to be going through a series now with these six items on it, and I look forward to sharing each of these, the strengths of each area, the skills that you'll need to have in that, and a support system for implementing those into your life. I'm Teach Jim, and I hope that you have a great day today.